Hello ladies and gents, we are now going to create a dashboard with absolutely no code and it will look something like this. Good filter by, by assistance. So these will be the ones that you will have in retail or VAPI. You could then deploy this to your own clients later on. Creating a custom voice AI dashboard, zero coding experience is required, just enough curiosity and uh, to make something cool. So. Um, the tech stack that we will be, will be using, Lovable, uh, one of my most favorite platforms at the moment. We'll be using that to create our uh, front and back end actually. Uh, and then we'll connect up, Lovable connects up with Superbase, which is the database where we'll hold our call details. Um, <clears throat> so you can hold your transcripts, your cost, your duration, whatever else you want in there. And then Vessel, that's what we are going to use for the ease of deployment. So uh, it is completely free, nothing here you actually have to pay for. Um, so that's probably even better. All right, let's jump into it. So uh, you'll need a Lovable account and um, I am now logged in. And all you need to do is to come into here and just type to it uh, using using natural language. I'll be using uh, Vapi's dashboard um, and we'll try to recreate that using Lovable. Um, we'll also be using and i also pre-prepared a table in superbase uh so that our um lovable agent has the has sort of a more context as to what we want to make um so we'll have the call id come through we'll have the duration we'll have the cost we'll have the assistant name and we'll have the created app now obviously you could add in anything else you'd like in here but today that's what we're going with so our first step really is to jump into uh lovable i'm going to paste Paste in those two um, screenshots. So now I've got the dashboard that I showed you and then the table. And now we'll just have to type stuff to it. Let's create voice AI. Cool. So let's create a voice AI dashboard that looks like the one in the picture provided. Here is the rest of my prompt. So on the left, there is a nav bar that has the dashboard profile and settings. Uh, profile contains dummy values for person's email and time of login. And let's just say um, we are not we are not doing a login screen. <coughs> Settings contains a toggle for dark and light modes for the entire app. So and we'll see if that takes care of it. Uh, the main goal is to display the values from a table that will be called transcripts. Now, mm, Lovable should then create this table for us in Superbase automatically. Uh, this table will be created for you by you in Superbase. Use the picture provider as, as inspiration for the headings. And I've just given it here a little bit more um, context. And then I just wrote here, enable any pro level security and any policies to make that work in Superbase uh, for the creation and fetching of the data. And it should be, actually I might add that in. Uh, it should be, um, Everything should look sleek and modern. The colors and slash theme uh, could be a dark with a nice green to make it more like the super base color. Oh, yeah. uh, a filter. And I think that is all I'm going to type in. And yeah, before you do begin this, you do need a super base account. So uh, please go create that. I'm going to click on enter and this this was this is my whole prompt here as you guys can see there's a super base like um set up here so you can click on that and you can connect to a project and uh, the one that we are going to, to connect to is uh, dashboard and just sit back and or watch it do its magic. It's finished writing its code. Let's see how it's going to look like. There's nothing actually to view. Anyway, let's keep on going and see what it comes up with. So it says here, before we, I like to note that we fully create super integration. We actually need to connect. Cool. So we come on, come into here, go here. I'm going to go to uh, this one right here and I just connect. And I did say build unsuccessful. So We'll, we'll set this up and then we'll go back and fix any errors. We can enable sign-in and stuff, but I don't want to do that at the moment. Just want to focus on the dashboard for now. 
said, okay, cool, let's focus on the creation of the transcripts table and supervise and then fix any build errors that came up and think about the step-by-step. -step. Nice, so now it's creating a new table for us using uh, SQL and enabled uh, row level security and it's adding some policy in there, which is cool. Let's do that, apply changes. When I go back into my super base and refresh that, there's now a table in here called transcripts, whereas before there wasn't one. It's empty for now, that's fine. Now it's just thinking and trying to fix up any issues that came up. So I just, yeah, got the error again. Let's try and uh, fix it. There we go. That's working now. Awesome. So it fixed up something up with the, something to do with the area chart component. Um, well, it's even got an add data button here. I did not ask it to do that, but cool. It's got call ID. Wow, nice. Okay. Can we actually do that? That'd be awesome. Does it work? Man, <laughs> it just made some random stuff that I didn't ask it to do that. But yeah, that's that's cool that it actually, and now it comes up as data. Nice. So I just want to fix up a couple of things here. So uh, I don't like how the uh, calendars come up, like two of them. If I click on the numbers and doesn't feel intuitive at all. And we're also missing like a like a reset button here. So I might actually tell it to. Uh, can we also add in a reset filters? Um, so we'll do that. And then currently we have assistance. That's working. That's cool. What else can we fix? Uh, oh, nice. That's pretty sweet. Let's see if this works. Didn't want the API access key, so let's remove that. Access key, locations, settings area. So I'm just telling it like what to fix essentially. Uh, another thing you can do as well, if you don't like the way something's written, you can actually click on the edit button and then you can hover over the div that you wanna fix. So like in here, I don't like, for example, that it says by date and the date is uh, like a small d. So now I can just change that, click on save and now um, it's, it's just changed that for me. All right, and now I click on that and see see what it will do. So now I should add in the data into my super base uh, so that I have more uh, data to work with. And yeah, we'll go from there. So now it's just sent through all this data into here. Awesome. We should be seeing that like soon on our dashboard, even now. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, how cool is this? Yo, so now this should be one calendar. Nice, much better. Assistance, we got Ellen, Let's see if they change. Got one call for her. David, uh, with Emma, we had six calls. Nice, let's get all assistants and what this should do, reset filters. Wait, let's reduce Emma. Oh, nice, it works. Dark, light, ooh. I would have preferred this to be in the profile, but whatever. Okay, so that still doesn't work. So it just put it into, instead of putting it in settings, it put it in a dashboard. You can keep talking to it and uh, you can tell it to move it over into the settings or just keep it here. Uh, but for now, the idea is that it works. I think I'm happy with this. So, um, it's a extremely good MVP anyway. Um, so now what you want to do is push all this into your own GitHub account. And I'll put the link to GitHub below. So in case you don't have an account, all you need to do is just log in, just create it, and then come to here and just connect them. Uh, see, so I've already got like my GitHub here. Click the uh, create in button. There we go. Now, now it's actually in my GitHub. So we just double check. 
It's going to refresh. Have a look. There you go, Chatbox Navigator. And everything is right here. And now, um, so Lovable doesn't host this for us. So, so to be able to use it on the internet, we actually need to deploy it somewhere. Um, for the ease of deployment, I love using Vercel. So uh, the reason is you can directly connect up your GitHub and I've already created an account, I'm, I'm in here. And if you notice, I've actually got that automatically come up for me in Vercel. So all I would have to do is click on here, click on import and just click on deploy. Like that's it, two buttons. And now we just got to wait for it to deploy. There you go, all finished. Uh, continue the dashboard. And then on the domain, you just click on uh, this link right here. And voila. And if you'd like to learn more about how to create voice AI solution systems and how to sell these, then you're welcome to join us in our free school community. We've got a whole course there dedicated uh, is there to take you from zero to hero. And we also offer an elite program where, um, where in the past few weeks, uh, our, our members uh, have already uh, closed the first clients and some of them already have up to three, uh, paid clients already done in the first, uh, uh, seven weeks. Anyway, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.